Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how Ohm's Law and power calculations work. You see, this is a pie chart that represents both Ohm's Law and power calculations. And here is volts right here. Volts is represented by the symbol E right here. And we have ohms over here. Ohms is represented by the symbol R. And we have amperes represented by the symbol I. And we have watts represented by the letter W. Watts are a unit of power. So if we have a blender that is rated at 1200 watts or a LED light bulb that is rated at 7.5 watts, the watts are units of power. And where I'd like to start in explaining this is right here at volts. And I'd like to go to right here. So we have amps times ohms equals volts. You see, that is Ohm's law in probably its simplest form. Amps times ohms equals volts. So let me show you an example of this. Here we have a circuit. This is a battery and this is a switch. The switch is on, which means that it is a closed circuit. If it was off, it would be an open circuit. And then over here, we have an ammeter. And the ammeter is reading two amps. Ammeters measure amperage. And over here, we have a resistor, which is rated at 6 ohms. So what we need to do here is we need to figure out how many volts this circuit has. So let's go over here to Ohm's Law. Volts equals amps times ohms. And we see there is two amps and six ohms. So how many volts do we have? How many volts does this battery have? It has 12 volts. And we move over to ohms right here. The Ohm's Law equation for ohms is volts divided by amps equals ohms. Let me give you an example. So here we have another circuit, and this time we have 10 volts, and our ammeter is reading 5 amps. And we have a motor, and we need to solve for how many ohms the motor represents. Can you solve this using Ohm's Law? So we have 10 volts divided by 5 amps, and that will give us two ohms. So now let's move over to amps. And for our ohms law equation, we have volts divided by ohms equals amps. So those are our three ohms law equations. We have amps times ohms is volts. We have volts divided by amps is ohms. And we have volts divided by ohms is amps. So now I'll give you an example of using this equation to find amps. So here we have a circuit, and over here we have the equation amps equals volts divided by ohms. But over here, I have the equation volts divided by ohms equals amps. Now, is that the same thing? <laughs> yeah, it is, because if this equals this, then this equals that. It's the same thing. So volts divided by ohms equals amps. So here's our volts right here. We've got 24 volts. I have that written down right here, 24 volts. And we have an ammeter over here. We don't know what this is going to be. And then over here, we have 6 ohms right here. So we have the volts divided by the ohms. And so how many amps are there going to be? That's right, it's four amps. Now let's move over to the last quadrant of our pie chart here, and that is going to be watts. In most cases, as an electrician, the most frequently used equation of these three will be this one right here. Volts times amps equals watts. So let me give you an example. Here we have another circuit. Over here, we have all three versions of Ohm's Law. We have a 12 volt battery and our ammeter is reading 2 amps and we have a little fan down here 
And here is our formula for watts. Volts times amps equals watts. So we've got 12 volts. We've got two amps. How many units of power or watts will this fan be using? If you said 24 watts, you're correct. So let's say you would like to find watts and all you have available to you is the amperage reading and the ohms. Well, here's a formula for you right here. And let's say all you have is the voltage and the ohms. Well, here's a formula for you right here. And you can find formulas for the volts, the ohms, and the amperes in a similar fashion. So if all you have is watts and ohms, here's a formula for you right here to find volts. Or if all you have is watts and amps, and you want to find volts, here you go. Over here, the same thing. If all you have is voltage and watts, you can still find ohms. And you can find different formulas to find your watts, volts, ohms, and amperes on this chart. Okay, here's our last circuit for today. We have a 20 volt battery right here. We have a resistor with five ohms. How many amps are flowing through this circuit? And think carefully before you answer. <laughs> Give it a few seconds. The answer is zero because this is an open circuit. You see the switch is off right now. So no amperes can flow through the circuit in an open circuit. So I hope this video has been a good introduction for some of you and for others. Perhaps it's a good refresher for these formulas. And guess what? I've got new stickers and they are Sparky Channel stickers and they have this pie chart in them. So you can put these stickers on your toolbox or on your hard hat. And whenever you need a formula, just take off your hard hat whenever it's safe. Don't do it if it's not safe. But if it's safe, you can look at your hard hat and say, oh, E times I equals watts. You know, something like that. So I will put an email address in my video description and the first three viewers that write and give me your name and address and so forth because I'm going to mail you some stickers. Tell me which stickers would you like. I have the kind with the Ohm's Law and Power pie chart and I have regular Sparky Channel stickers which would look really cool. And so uh, let me know what you want. Maybe you have three of each or something, something like that. And so write me and the first three viewers that write me with the information, get stickers. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.